The objective of this lesson is to understand the sum formula in Excel. So let's get to it. I go to this cell and I write equal sum. And then I have some parameters. So I have number 1, 2, 3, 4. It goes up to 255. It doesn't mean that I can only sum 255 numbers because each number could be a range. So I can select, for example, this range, this range, etc. And then I can do my sum. So let's try to hard code a couple of numbers. So I'm going to do sum com, uh, 2, comma 3. Then I close the parenthesis and then I get 5. So you will tell me that you can do 2 plus 3 equal 5. The advantage of this sum formula is that you can just go and then select multiple cells at once and get 20. Now the danger of what I've done now is that if there is a blank cell, and the number changes in the blank cell, it will update the number because Excel sum takes this number as zero when it's blank. Or if you have a text, for example, it will take it as zero. So you need to make sure that to get the right sum, you'll do sum, open parenthesis, I select my first cells, and then I have a comma and select my other cells, close parenthesis, enter. The other danger that you have is that if there is, for example, a row that is hidden, and then you come here and you do sum, equal sum, and you select this, this row in the middle, if it changes, it will affect your formula. So if I unhide this, and then I have like 7 here, you see I have 27. Even if this, for example, this cell is hidden, it will still calculate 27. So be careful when you're using the sum formulas on the range.